Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to At Home with Maribet. But you know what? It is about that time of year. We're getting into those burr months where it gets cold and we want something warm and cozy. I thought today would be the perfect day to show you guys how I create my very own cozy tea tray. It's the perfect thing when you want to just get into your comfortable chair, snuggle up with a blanket, and have something warm to drink. Well, let's go along as we gather everything we need to make that cozy tea tray. Let's head on over to the cabinet and we'll get started. Come on. All right, guys, this is my fun cabinet. I love this cabinet because, well, it's got just about everything I need on it, from cookbooks I use to some of the everyday tea essentials. But let's grab a few things that we'll need to create our cozy tea tray. First, we need something to put it in because I don't want to break the stuff, right? All right, let's see here. We need a teapot. I think this one will work. It's cute. Pretty simple. It just has the word tea on it. Uh, tea cup is essential. We'll grab this one because it's got a leaf motif and it's pink and I love pink. Let's see. Oh, creamer and sugar. You definitely need creamer and sugar. What else? Oh, yes. You want to have a strainer of some sort because we're going to be using loose tea. And if you're not a loose tea leaf user, it's okay. Mm, you can use a tea bag, but you better make sure you've got something to put the tea bag in so the water doesn't drip everywhere. Um, I think that's actually it. All right, let's take everything we've got and head on back over. Come on. All right. Now, don't forget you probably want like a spoon and probably like a pretty cloth napkin or just a pretty napkin and anything else you think that's going to make your cozy tea tray cozy for you. All right, when I head back, we'll start putting everything together. Don't miss it. All righty. So we're going to get started creating our cozy tea tray. But before we do, I just want to remind you guys, you know, to make your cozy tea tray, you don't have to have a special kind of tray. For right now, uh, you could use something just like this rattan basket I've got. Uh, you can use something round and aluminum if you already have it. And look in your garage, check your basement, look in places that you already have things that you possibly can use. If you've got something and you wanna paint it to give it new life, do that, check the thrift store. Whatever it is that you find that's gonna create your own cozy, that's what you wanna use. All right, let's check and see what's in our basket so that we can create our cozy tea time tray. So first, we've got our teapot, and I like this teapot because it's simple and it just says tea, it's perfect. All right, we also have our teacup. Now my teacup, of course, is pink because, well, I do like pink, and it has a leaf motif, which is perfect for the burr months. All righty, and then we also have our creamer. Mine's empty because you don't want to see me wasting milk. I mean, that would make no sense, right? So we've got our creamer and our sugar. My sugar dish has a lid. Yours might not, which is fine. We also want to make sure, since I prefer in all the teas that we sell are loose leaf teas, we definitely want to have a strainer. So I've got that. Your teapot might come with a strainer. If that's what you got, that's cool. If you're still not quite into the loose leaf tea, but you want to still have a cozy tea tray, it's always a great idea to have um, a drip for your tea bag. So this is what you would place your tea bag on once you've taken it out of your teapot so it catches any drip of the tea. And also, since you're gonna be adding cream or sugar to your tea, guess what guys, you kinda of need a spoon. So make sure you grab your favorite spoon. I like this one because the design is so ornate, plus it's my grandmother's. And you probably also might wanna have some napkins because well, you know, mistakes happen, things happen. And if you're adding a treat to your tea tray, which I sometimes do, you probably want something to wipe your hands on. All right. Let's make this tea tray. So I want to use this kind of tea tray. And it's just a wooden tea tray. It's long, rectangular, and it's nice and solid. So I can pick it up and take it where I go. Let's get started, guys. All right. So we've got my tea tray that I want to use. We're just going to bring our teapot in. We're going to put it at the top. Next, I like to keep my tea cup and saucer close to the teapot because that only makes sense. So we'll put it right in there. Creamer and sugar 
two definite essentials, but make sure when you do this, you go ahead and put your cream and your sugar in there, right? So let's put this kind of at the front, all right? We want to have our strainer. Some teapots come with strainers, so if you do, you might not need a strainer, but mine doesn't. So we're going to make sure we have a strainer and our drip plate. So I just like to go ahead and put these together. We'll put that right down there and we'll add our napkins and our spoon. Now, of course, if you have like a candle or perhaps a vase with some flowers you want to add to your tea tray, you can definitely do that. You've got a treat you want to add, go ahead and set that in there too because it makes your tea time tray and the coziness, coziness of it so much more wonderful. But guys, it's as simple as that to create your cozy tea time tray. And I think what I'm going to do is make a pot of tea and so I can enjoy my cozy tea time tray too. All right, so we've got my tea tray that I want to use. We're just going to bring our teapot in. We're going to put it at the top. Next, I like to keep my teacup and saucer close to the teapot because that only makes sense. So we'll put it right in there. Creamer and sugar, two definite essentials, but make sure when you do this, you go ahead and put your cream and your sugar in there, right? So let's put this kind of at the front, all right? We wanna have our strainer. Some teapots come with strainers, so if you do, you might not need a strainer, but mine doesn't. So we're gonna make sure we have a strainer and our drip plate. So I just like to go ahead and put these together. We'll put that right down there and we'll add our napkins and our spoon. Pour it up. There we go. And because it goes well with milk and sugar, we're going to go ahead and put a little sugar in our tea. Give that a good stir. And we always want to add milk at the end because that way we know exactly how much milk we need to add to our tea. And stir that in there. And it'll be a wonderful addition to our cozy tea time tray. Have a good evening. Bye.